Nasheed group is called Eden Girls Nasheed Fire. There are 15 people in the Eden Girls Nasheed Fire and we are all from different year groups. Along the way we have all made new friends. Nasheed Club was set up one year ago because there were lots of different people who wanted to share their voices with others. Our Nasheed Club practices once a week but when it comes up to special occasions and performances we practice almost every day. My name is Nareen Saeed, I'm from Eden Girls School and I'm in year 8. My name is Hayash Amstim, I'm year 7 and I go to Eden Girls School. Um, my name is Rayan and I am 15 years old. I go to Eden Girls School and I am in year 10. My name is Fatima, I'm 15 years old, I'm in year 10 and I go to Eden Girls School. Uh, my name is Saba Afzali, I'm 12 years old, I am in year 7 and I go to Eden Girls School. I joined the Nasheed Club because I have a passion for singing and I want to show people my talent. Um, I joined the Nasheed Club because I really like singing. And I just wanted to share like my passion with everyone and just sing with everyone else. Uh, I joined the Nasheed Club because my friend inspired me to, and she showed me of um, how good how a good experience it is. My favorite thing is to sing with others and to just improve my singing. Uh, performing makes me feel nervous, but also um, good because I can sing with my friends. Well, it's a bit nerve wracking, but it feels good at the same time. Um, performing used to make me feel nervous but now the more I perform I feel more happy and I just start to enjoy it more. Performing makes me feel nervous but when I start singing all the anxiousness goes away and I just feel happy. We chose um, Give Thanks to Allah by Zain Likher because we thought it's a classic song and it's something that we all know and it's also easy to learn. scientists are monitoring the earth and they're waiting to see when and if the ground starts to rumble. Put simply, 
A volcano is an opening in the Earth's surface from which gas, hot magma and ash can escape. And whilst they can be extremely deadly, you have to admit that they look spectacular. When it's still in the ground, the fiery hot liquid is called magma, but once it leaves, it's called lava. Volcanoes are often found at meeting points of what are called tectonic plates. These plates are pieces of the Earth's surface that fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. That means they don't just occur on land, they can be found on the ocean floor and under ice caps too. Volcanoes are classified as active, dormant or extinct, depending on the amount of volcanic activity happening. Active means there's regular activity. Dormant means there's been recent activity, but that is currently quiet. And extinct means it's been so long since the last eruption that it's unlikely to ever erupt again. When an active volcano is ready to blow, it usually starts with rising temperatures and a lot of smoke. Soon, Red-hot magma will be flying through the air and sliding down the slopes. About 1,900 volcanoes on Earth are considered active and likely to explode again. Yikes! The soil near volcanoes is said to be rich and fertile, which is why some people actually set up home on the slopes. In fact, approximately 350 million people, or 1 in 20, live within the danger zone of an active volcano. But where are they and why do they happen? Most of the world's volcanoes are found around the Pacific Ocean's Ring of Fire, a meeting point of tectonic plates and an area of intense seismic activity. Tectonic plates are massive slabs of rock making up the Earth's surface, constantly moving on a hotbed of magma. Volcanoes form in two ways at their boundaries. Plates sometimes collide, causing one to slide beneath the other. This is called a destructive boundary. Pressure and heat created by this movement forces magma up into the cracks in the rocks until it explodes to the surface as lava, causing a volcanic eruption. Plates can also move away from each other at so-called constructive boundaries. In this case, magma rises to fill the gap, creating a new crust. When this happens under the sea, volcanic islands such as Hawaii are eventually formed. And that is how volcanoes are formed. In the last episode, we created this pattern. In this episode, we're going to trace it, transfer it, and then add colour. This time creating a shadowy weave. Attach the tracing paper with masking tape. Using a 2B pencil, we're going to trace the pattern and create channels. Draw a line underneath each of the outlines. Try and make sure the distance away from the outline is the same every time. Turn the paper upside down and then you can complete the outline.
lift the tracing paper away from the construction and look for any gaps. If there aren't any, then you can remove the tracing paper and start fixing up the pattern. Attach it to a plain piece of paper and using an eraser we can fix up any gaps or anything where it should be a little bit shorter and also deal with the overlaps. Looking at this overlap, for it to look as though there's one line or channel going over another, we'll erase two of the lines. If you rotate your paper, you can repeat that for each of them. Once you've erased at those intersections, you can see how it looks like one channel is going over or under another channel. And in this case, in one continuous spiral. Fix any lines you need to, and then we're ready to transfer to watercolour paper. Remember to take away the masking tape, turn your tracing paper upside down and attach it to the watercolour paper. If you need to make sure it's straight, you can use guidelines. In this case, I'm just using the sides of the tracing paper uh, to make it straight. Next, we're going to use our spoon to rub the pattern onto the watercolour paper. Lift off the tracing paper to make sure it's transferred and then adjust the pressure you apply accordingly. Lift off one side of it and leaving the other masking tape attached and then add any more you need to. The pattern has now transferred. With this pattern, we're going to add some shadows to make the weave look quite 3D. I'll be using paints and normal brushes. With watercolour paints, you need to add water to the paints and then blend them and also use a palette so you can place the paints in the palette. I'm going to drop some water into the palettes and also into the paints I'm going to use. We're going to use shades of blue, work the brush into the paint, and then place that colour in the palette. The more paint you add to the water, the more intense the colour will be. Have a tissue to hand as well. Once you've added the colour, clean the brush and go on to the other colour. Clean the 
the brush and our fourth and probably final colour. Okay, we're ready to paint. I'm using quite a thin, small brush, so it's number one. You can use other sized brushes depending on the size of your painting and how fine your work needs to be. You can blend one colour into the next while they're still wet and you can let the water do all the hard work of the blending. If you want the colours to be more intense then you can go back to the original paint and add it in from there. Try and make sure when you go to the overlap, a different colour goes on top of the weave underneath. Be careful when you're close to wet paint so that the colours don't bleed into one another. So I've left a gap between the two channels. Once you've painted the first layer of colour, let it dry and then you can go back and add and touch up any gaps and also add in the shadows. But do wait for the first layer to dry. So I'm going to begin with quite a watered down dark colour. Okay, once we've got this initial layer of uh, shadow, we're going to start making it a bit more intense. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ باسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان لا يطغى الرآه استغنى إن إلى ربك الرجعى أرأيت الذي ينهى عبدا إذا صلى 
أرأيت إن كان على الهدى أو أمر بالتقوى أرأيت إن كذب وتولى ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى كلا لئن لم ينته لنسفعا بالناصية ناصية كاذبة خاطئة فليدع نادية سندع الزبانية كلا لا تطعه واسجد واقترب بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتين والزيتون وطور سينين وهذا البلد الأمين لقد خلقنا الإنسان في أحسن تقويم ثم رددناه أسفل سافلين إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات فلهم أجر غير ممنون فما يكذبك بعد بالدين أليس الله بأحكم الحاكمين Ah! Uh-huh.